Hello and welcome to our talk show. Unfortunately, due to the current pandemic situation, we are not able to do this face to face. But we have managed to do this on a Zoom call. And I forgot to introduce to you my co host, Angelica. Anyways, today we have a very special guest with us the renowned composer and conductor, Richard Wagner. Mr. Wagner, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, well, let's jump in. You are known for your innovative approach to music. Can you tell us a little bit more about your creative process? Well, I believe that music should be a reflection of the human experience. My creative process begins with a concept or an idea that I want to explore musically. Then, I work to develop the themes and motives that will express that idea. I also draw inspiration from literature, mythology, and other kinds of art forms. Mr. Wagner, your words are often controversial and have been criticized for their political and social themes. How do you respond to those criticisms? I believe that art should be challenging and thought-provoking. My works deal with universal themes that could be relevant to other people, regardless to their social and political beliefs. I don't shy away from controversial topics because I believe that art has the power to inspire change and progress. Mr. Wagner, your music has been described as grandiose and epic. Do you think that modern audiences still appreciate that kind of music? Absolutely! I believe that there will always be a place for music that is expansive and emotional. My works are meant to be experienced live, like in a concert hall, where the full power of the orchestra and the human voice can be felt. There is nothing quite like the experience of hearing a live performance of one of my operas. Mr. Wagner, you have influenced generations of composers and musicians. Who are some contemporary artists that you admire? Well, I have been a fan of Beethoven and Mozart, of course. But I also appreciate the work of contemporary composers like Richard Strauss and Gustav Mahler. As for musicians, I have also great respect for conductors like Arturo Toscanini and Wilhelm Kortweiler. And that is all, Mr. Wagner. We thank you for being here with us today. Thank you very much, Mr. Wagner. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure.